Hey everyone. Hello there. Today I'm super excited because we're going to be talking about how to use the pan feature in Midjourney 5.2. Then we're going to make that picture into a moving image in Adobe Premiere. Pretty cool stuff. I think it's something really fun and super easy to do. Once you get the steps down and understand the process, you'll be making your own videos in no time. I'm going to try to make this video as simple as possible so that anyone can do it no matter what skill level you're at. I also encourage you to pause or rewind the video as you follow along. If you enjoy this video and love staying up to date on all things AI and tech, then please subscribe to our channel and be the first to see all of our new content. Alright, now let's get into it. So as you can see, I have Midjourney open. I'm going to type in a prompt. I just chose something random. I went with a vibrant and colorful underwater world with a sunken treasure ship. Okay, it gave me these four images. I really like the one on the top right, so I went ahead and upscaled that one. To upscale the image you want, you're just going to hit U, and I chose number two, so I'm going to hit U2. Now that you've upscaled your image, you can pan to the right, pan to the left, pan up or down. For this video, I'm going to pan to the right. So now we're going to change our previous prompt, which was a vibrant and colorful underwater world with a sunken treasure ship to just a vibrant and colorful underwater world. I wanted to see what it would do with that. Here you can see it slowly adding layers to the image and I think it's a pretty cool process to watch. All right, you can see it finally finished panning to the right of the image and produced a second image that's just a little bit longer than the first one. So you're just going to keep this process going until eventually you have a very, very, very long photo. Here is a very sped up clip of me generating the photos. I just kept putting in whatever prompt I thought was interesting and seeing what it could do. Towards the end there, when the picture starts getting longer and longer, it was not letting me open it in Midjourney anymore. I had to open it online, so if that happens to you, then that's totally normal. The file size just gets really large. I did a decent amount of generations, but decided to stop at this one. I really liked how it turned out and was ready to put it into Adobe. So now that you have an image that you like, you're going to open Adobe Premiere and you're going to start a new project. I'm going to call this underwater pan and hit create. Now I'm going to drag my image onto the timeline here. Once you have your image in the software, you're going to go to sequence. You're going to go to sequence settings and you're going to change your frame size. I'm going to change mine to 1920 by 1080. You can make yours whatever you want, but this is what I prefer. And you're going to hit OK. And you're going to hit OK here. And BAM! So once you do that, you're going to select your image. There's a tiny blue box right here, a little circle. You're going to make sure this is selected. And you're going to hit Shift 5, which is going to open up the effects panel. I just noticed my image is not the full size of the screen, so I'm going to drag it to fit. There you go. With your image selected, you're going to drag it all the way to one side. I'm going to be dragging it all the way to the left, so at the very beginning of our image, like that. Now that you got to the very left of your image, you're going to make sure that this is at the very beginning of your image right here. You're going to go to this little stopwatch right before position and that's going to make a keyframe right here at the beginning of your image. Before we make the second point on our image, you want to make sure that your image is to the time that you want. I'm going to make it a little bit longer here. So I'm just going to drag it to about... I'm just going to do 50 seconds. Now that I've got it to the length that I want it, I'm going to take this right here and you're going to put this right at the end of your clip like this. And you're going to click on your image and you're going to drag it all the way to the end. So 
So I'm going to line up my image like that. As you can see, it created another keyframe right here at the end. So you're going to have one at the beginning and one at the end. So now that you've made your key points, you can grab this little dude right here and scroll to the beginning of the video and you can see that it will scroll through the image as you move it. I'm going to start the video from the very beginning and see what we made. I really liked how it came out. I think it's beautiful and I'm really excited to put some music behind it and mess around with it a little bit. So all that's left to do is to export it. So I'm just gonna go to export over here. You can export it however you like. So now you can hit the export here and bada bing, bada boom. So that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you all learned something and were able to follow along. I think these videos are awesome and I'd love to see any that you guys made, so feel free to send them to me. I really enjoy using AI tools like Midjourney and I love making these how-to videos for you guys. I appreciate any support and love that you want to give to my channel and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!